Hello guys, welcome back to another video here with the Island Mix. So, I haven't been getting around to making videos lately, so I don't know. But I got back to it, and I'm going to start with the Technic slash Techit tutorial on how to make a quarry. Now, like, I don't know, like three or four months ago when I wanted to know how to make a quarry, I could not find any videos. Oh, oh I could find a lot of videos, but, like, they were all misleading. I don't know if they were older versions or something. They didn't work at all. So now I'm going to be making the 1.3 Techit update one. So this is going to work for 1.3. I don't know if it'll work for the other updates of it. Um, so let's get started. So these are the supplies you're going to need. One quarry, one landmark, one wrench, one steam, three steam engines. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Four landmarks. Anyway, three redstone torches. Uh, I don't know. Not Probably not 64, but around 32 transport pipes. Depends on how far you want it to go. One diamond transport pipe, not needed, makes it more easier to control, go, like, makes it easier to keep track of where everything goes. Four chests, uh, and fairly a lot of coal. Now, the reason I like to use steam engine is because it doesn't explode like redstone and all the other ones, that, but anyway, they don't, it, all in all, it's a good one, alright? It's a good, in, good engine. So, <coughs> take your landmarks and place them right, like, they have to be in a complete good square or rectangle. Now, they can be a 1,000 by 1,000 blocks, but they have to be on even level. They have to be accurate to each other, facing each other in a perfect rectangle or square. Uh, I like to do wherever I can find like a large uh, flat land. I like to clear all the trees and make a gigantic one, which is very effective and works really good, and you pretty much just have. Now, I know it takes a while for it to... Uh, break all the dirt on the top, but I just go ahead and do that by myself because it takes way too long. You shouldn't waste the coal on it when you can do it. But then it can dig, like, the important stuff around. Alright. Place them like this. However you want. I'll just do it like this. Alright, um. Nope. Oh, wow. I didn't even have to dig that. Alright, right there. Now take your wrench. Right click any one of these uh, mabobbers. Alright, right clicked it. Take your quarry, place it on like right here. See how it's like facing right there? Ta da! Now, I don't know. You can go pick them up if they fell. You don't have to. I don't know. I guess you can. Whatever. We'll just leave that there. Okay. Now, what you do is you. I'll be right back. Alright, sorry about that. I just had to clear those trees. They were kind of in the way. Alright, so now where are we? Alright, you place that there. Now, I don't like to get straight to where it starts building the uh, base or the orange rectangle things. I don't know what they're called. But when, because you'll see. But So, take your redstone pipe. Make it come like this. I don't really like it to be too far off the ground. It's just hard to get to. And then, alright. Plate. It's going to be hard, kind of hard to follow, but do it like that. See how I made it like that? Like, see this block right here? S or transport pipe? Delete it in the middle. So it'll end up like this. Like here. See it? Alright. Take your diamond transport pipe. Ta-da. Now you see how this is going. The green, or lime green, is going there. The blue is going there. Black's down. Yellow's there. Alright. And red is back. So you right-click your dri diamond transport pipe. Now, previous updates or previous versions of Tech 8 slash Technic, you couldn't place something in it without it taking it. Now, wait, what? What the Gucci just happened? Did another another update happen? Are you serious? One sec. No, wait, it's just, like, just robbing me. Oh my gosh. I'm totally wrong. Look at that. Wow, fail. <laughs> Sorry about that, but I guess now it'll take it. Wow. So now it takes your blocks. But you see how I placed it in there? Let's say you want uh, coal to go to yellow. You take this, put it in yellow, and then all the coal that your quarry finds will go here. Now you connect this to a chest like that, like that, like that. And I think you get the basic idea of this. And then, I don't know. Do I need to explain more? I think it's pretty kind of common sense, you know, just place whatever you want in it. So I guess this is going to, oh, but you can get it back. So after your quarry's done, you can get it back. 
Was it like that always? I don't know. I don't think it was like that. I think in the previous, previous update, it would take it and not give it back. Now I guess it'll give it back. So don't worry. After everything, you'll have it. So you need one diamond just to make it go somewhere. All right. It's pretty obvious, kind of easy. All right. If you have any questions about that, leave it in the comments, please. Let's get started with this. Now, you take your steam engines. Now, the more, the faster, and the merrier, but the more coal it's going to uh, cook up. So you do it like this. You fail. All right, and it's gone forever. Okay, and that one's stuck. Wow. Okay, well. All right, uh, let's just find steam. All right. <laughs> I'm on rescue mode. Sorry about this minor delay. All right, let's just delete this. Take like that. All right, like that. All right, now what you do is you right-click these and you place as much coal as you want in here. After the coal runs out, it won't work. The quarry won't work. Well, it will if they're all gone. Or it, it will if there's at least one with one quarry or running power in it. But, like, here, all th this is probably going to run for at least, for this type of quarry, it's probably going to run for at least, I don't know, with the 64 I put in here, it'll probably get down to, like, 35, I'm guessing. Or, why 35? Yeah, that's, that's about right. 35. Or probably lower, but I don't know. So, you right-click that place. I already did it. All right, now you take your torches. Ta-da, boom, bang, bang, baru. Now it's going to start, and it's going to start building. Sorry, I have the little... My nose is stuffed. One sec. All right, so now you're going to... Uh, see how it's going to start building it? After it starts building it, it's going to start... Uh, the quarry's going to start, and it's going to be perfect, and start digging your hole. Diggy, diggy hole dwarfs are digging holes. I will come back when the digging process begins. Peace! Wait. Alright, so now the process is going to begin. See, I added a lot of these things, so I it, it should be going a lot faster, but it's not. Well, actually it is. I think. I'm not sure. I think it is. It looks like it is. Because I know how it looks like when there's only three, and it's like so slow. Well, in this case, it's working pretty good. So, you guys get the basic idea. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. Um, so, yeah, hope this helped. Uh, if you need, there's a lot of tutorials on this. I know that for sure on YouTube. So, fine. If you want it, there's also ways to, after it collects the iron or coal, it goes and doubles it into a factory. It leads it to a factory. I, I know how to do that, but it's like, I can't narrow it to a 10-minute video because it's like so long and just hard, but whatever. So, have fun, guys. Hope this helped. Peace on the streets. That's all right.